watch this tutorial till the end and you're going to learn how you can literally create this kind of presentations in a couple of clicks. So to start from here, I think that the most common mistake a lot of you are doing in Revit is that you are going and overriding things in a view, something like this. So if you if I go to this element, right click and then override graphic in view, you will see that we have a lot of graphic assigned to this element, but it will just appear and look like this just in this particular view. So I'm going to clear not just this, I'm going to select everything in this view and I'm going to clear all the override. As you could see, this view has a view template assigned, so I'm going to click none and I'm going to go to visibility graphics and we also have some overrides in a visibility graphics. That's way better to create than just the override in a view. And I'm just going to expand all and to clear everything. So natively our view look like this and I'm just going to close those shadows and let's start. So the first thing is to create a duplicate view, rename it. This is a case for family. So I think that uh, most of you will start creating this on the next way. So you will go to the visibility graphics and then, then let's say you will pick the case for and you will start adding the override so it doesn't you see how it reflects to our view this cut and then you will add a projection or so on let's just imagine that you have to click to all the model categories in your visibility graphics it's a huge amount of work and if you would like to create the other view it will take a lot so what I'm going to do right now is to show you how you can literally create different kind of presentations with a couple of clicks and in that purpose, I will go to view, filters, and I'm going to create two filters. If you need more, create more. So let's say this is for the vertical elements. And here I'm going to add doors, caseworks, and let's say furniture. And I can add walls. And the next one will be for the horizontal elements and here I'm going to add floors, generic model and let's keep it like that. So now I will go to the visibility graphics, we'll go to filters and I'm going to add those two filters. I don't know this one, it's not on, I'm just going to delete it. So here I'm going to take and I'm going to create the same override for vertical and horizontal and in this case let's say I'm going to take this color and I'm going to take the same cut lines let's take this darker one and I'm going to take the same projection uh, color so I'm not overriding lines I'm just overriding the color and let's say that the vertical elements they need to have a different different color And here for the background, I'm going to place the solid fill as you can see, and I will add this one. While for the horizontal, I will just do the opposite. And now when I go here, you see how it appear. What I don't like here is that our wall is a bit darker. And in order to change it, just go to visibility and let's say we have wall in a vertical one. I'm going to exclude it from here and I'm going to add it to the, let's say, what I called horizontal. And you see how our graphic uh, look like. And let's say that you would like to create the new one. You can literally create it in a couple of clicks. So just go here, duplicate this one. And then again, go to the visibility graphics. And let's say that here we just would like to add different colors. So way simpler than you were expecting, I'm pretty sure. And if you would like to know how you can master this kind of presentation for the exteriors, just take a look at this video.